Well, well, well. If it isn't Over the Moon Episode 2. Hi. So, Episode 2 is out. Um, it's been out for two months now, and uh, the first episode came out seven months ago. If you didn't see my reaction to uh, Over the Moon Episode 1, uh, then uh, yeah, you don't know... Yeah, you, you just don't know, man. You don't know. How could you? How actually could you? Ah. I love disclaimers when it comes to audio dramas. I mean, five years is crazy because they look like, they look kind of similar to what they did in Life's a Breeze Season 1. And yeah, it just like, I don't know. That little inf that little intro graphic, man. Ooh, pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Yeah, <laughs> colors, <laughs> pancakes and colors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. I think I got my running bit for the intro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, this intro, it's kind of boring. Compared to some of the other intros that are for audio dramas, this one's kind of boring. This one's kind of boring. I hate to say it. But it's just kind of just like, you have like the one piece of artwork, you know, and then just kind of like zooming in and out in different places, and then you have the names. Man, I do, I do sure love those, uh, those fork and knife sound effects. Hell yeah! I like how everybody's just having like a, a really amazing, like the like pure smile. Just like, oh yeah, just we're eating the food. The food's good, except for maybe Mythic. Mythic looks like he's a little bit like confused, or like he like he like looked at the broccoli and he's like, huh. That's kind of interesting. And then just like picks it up and just like just shoves it in his mouth. And then Aurora's just over here about to like experience level tier three, level five depression. Like, damn, girl. <laughs> it's like you like picking up the carrot and just like, <gasps> why is it counting down? <laughs> why does my carrot look like it's about to explode? I can't eat napkins. You could also just explain to them that be like, hey, I'm sorry, I kind of like misscheduled something. I'm sorry, but I kind of have to go and do some dream duties, you know? Still though, got to hang out with you for a little bit. You guys personally know me, so you, you, you know what's up. <clears throat> right? Nice mythic. Let's go. It 
bro i'm like aurora in this situation i'm just like they leave i'm just like bro bro don't leave me alone i'm scared out of my mind <laughs> But you know, I'm also frosty because I'm like extremely oblivious. I too have to make my departure. Goodbye, so dear souls. <laughs> I didn't notice that. She said as he looked at Aurora, her eyes flew round as she could feel her heart race out of her chest. Amen. Water. Did you say water? I have water. Ah! Kind of needed that water, actually. Holy crap. Hide and seek. I mean, libraries are pretty cool. Nah, libraries are cool. I love them. Frosty, you're telling me five years after life's breeze, knowing Aurora for those five years, and then you've never been to the library? You know what? I actually don't. I don't really understand the decision to make this five years after Life's a Breeze. At least not yet. Maybe after re I rewatched Life's a Breeze, I would understand why they're doing five years in the future. But <clears throat> it doesn't feel like five years into the future at all. It feels like things are pretty much exactly the same as they were like once the series ended. And again, like, five years and they're still, like, not together and they still haven't, like, confessed their feelings for each other? I don't... I don't see how that's... I don't see how that's possible. Like, five years? That's a really long time. And the fact that Aurora is, like, still, like panicking when she's alone with frosty five years after having a crush on them and considering that it wasn't like a, like i don't know i just i don't i don't i don't believe the five year thing i don't believe it God, the overthinking man. I relate to that, you know. You, you like imagine you're with your crush, you know, and you guys haven't said anything for like five minutes. Like, dude, that's hell. That is, you're actually like burning in hell. <laughs> you're just in there. You're just like, God, why, why? <laughs> That sucks. 
sucks as in I feel bad for her, not sucks as in oh that was a bad writing decision. Yeah, you know. You know. <laughs> bro, you and me both, Frosty, bro, Huff, man. I cannot tell you how many times where I'm just like I'm just like doing something and then I just start thinking like pretty much every second of the day I'm thinking about something like all the time I'm just thinking <clears throat> narration you say Haha, <laughs> I don't. But but the but the entrance it's like right there. You just go back, and you could go into the library and s still, still talk. You can talk in the library. Um, you have books in there, so you can have more conversation topics. And you guys weren't talking for the past six minutes and twenty nine seconds. So you know, again, you, it sounds like you guys need the, those conversation starters to really get connected more and bond more over shared interest or just learning more about each other via the books. Like, no, go in the entrance, please. <laughs> Wow, Canterlot sure is big. <laughs> Sam. It's been five years. <laughs> five years and you've never seen this. Buddy. Oh, it was recently added. Okay, it was recently added. Why was this recently added five years after the whole events of Life Summaries? Again, I do not in the slightest to believe in the five year thing. No. No, yeah, we huh? Hmm. Mm. 
Okay. Okay. Don't forget about the dream sequence. <laughs> Shaking the screen, I just I smell food. Imagine every single time you smelled something delicious, like, you're, you just, like, just... What smell you like, buddy? Take notes, Aurora. Take notes, Aurora. Get some fresh lavender. You know what? Get, get some fresh. Get. Just call me the wing man. Just call me the man with the wings. The man with the wings who have just given you a fresh batch of lavenders for your boy, Frosty. <clears throat> oh, there you go. Now you remember. The, the the relatability clone 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 <laughs> mirror pool Gonna... I can't believe you. I can't. You're not gonna tell me. You're not. Great. Now I have to wait like five months to to know what the hell she was talking about. That. Man. What the frick, Nugget? Man. See. Whatever months from now, when the next episode comes out, I'm not gonna remember what the heck was happening in the last episode, you know, like, dream hopping, all right, <sighs> okay, okay, I think I'm starting to vibe, I think I'm starting to, to mesh a little bit with this, with this audio drama, um, it really doesn't feel 
like a Life Sabree's sequel. You know what this feels like? This feels like a Life Sabree's spinoff. You know, this feels like just, you know, we didn't develop Frosty and Aurora. Like, we still have some stuff we could do with Frosty and Aurora. So let's, let's, do, a little, let's do a little spinoff series with Frosty and Aurora, you know? You know, it's still tied to the Life Sabree's. You know, th- this doesn't at all seem like a sequel. Because a sequel to me would be like... You get all the characters, you know? You bring back the focus on all the characters. You do, like... Sure, it could be lower stakes, or it could be at Indigo Park. (laughs) It could be higher stakes, it could be lower stakes, it could be the same New York stake strips as the last season, but I don't know. I just feel like it would have been a lot better if... Season 2 was, like, not just about Aurora and Frosty, but about everybody, you know? Because, don't get me wrong, Aurora and Frosty are great characters, but there's kind of a reason why they weren't the main focus in the last series. I don't know, it just... Like, I'm starting to mesh with it, but it's it, it just doesn't feel like Life's a Breeze to me. It, it just feels like a spinoff. And... I came into the, you know, I, I I was hyped for the sequel because I wanted to see all the characters. I wanted to be like, yeah, I want to see my boy Mythic Hope. I want to see Light, Light Breeze again. I want to see you know Sombra. Um, you know, see what's up with uh, Radiant. Did Radiant Hope die? I don't remember what happened to Radiant Hope in the last series. You know, but I wanna I wanna know what's up with Melissa. Of course, I wanted to see what was up with Aurora and Frosty, which is what we're getting. You know, what was up with Celestia and Luna, you know, all, all, I wanted to see, you know, what was up with all the characters? What happened after the events? What happened after the events? Aurora and Frosty did some stuff. That's all we got so far. Again, it's only two episodes, so there still could be a lot more packed in store for the rest of the series, but for right now... I like it. I think it's a cool approach. I think it's fine, but I'm I am somewhat disappointed in it. I think like I said, it just it just doesn't feel like a life supreme sequel. Yeah, but I, I'm stretching. Uh, oh, there we go. I, I stretched. But yeah, that's my thoughts on um Over the Moon, the apparent life supreme sequel. Uh, g- uh, goodbye.